Kyla leaves this video is about Ava's feeding evaluation. <sighs> If you hear some noise, it's because she's over there trying to take a nap, which she is not doing very well. But anyways, I'm gonna talk about her feeding evaluation. Her occupational therapist at the Autism Center said that she wanted to have the feeding evaluation to figure out if Ava had any physical reason why her diet was so restrictive. And I brought a variety of foods. I didn't know what to bring. I swear I called them like three times to ask them what to bring to this appointment. And we went through the appointment and you know, it was at breakfast time and she ended up having macaroni and cheese for breakfast. And the speech pathologist said that she cannot see a physical reason why she only eats certain things. It must be a sensory reason. So that's the good news and we wanted to hear that. So she gave her like some fry, um, dried vegetables and she put it to her lips. She didn't really bite it or whatever. And she said, see, that's a good sign that she'll at least attempt to try. That's big with these kids who don't eat a lot of things. Um, she goes, her hair's looking crazy that today is wash day. We're gonna wash it today. Anyways, so Ava's diet is very limited, like very, 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 very limited. And the occupational therapist is going to work on extending her diet for her to eat other things. So all in all, I brought pepperoni. When she saw the pepperoni, she screamed like she was dying or someone was killing her. I brought cheese. I brought macaroni and cheese. I brought a variety of foods. She said I actually did a good job. I had it all in my little lunch pouch and everything. And then she had a few things that she felt we could try. And she sent me home with. So all in all, feeding evaluation went great. She has no physical reasons why she cannot eat other things. Like, comment, subscribe, holla back.